What's going on YouTube? Genes here, bringing you guys part four for my playthrough one Pokemon Legends Arceus for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we defeated our first noble Pokemon, which was Cleavor. And in today's video, we're going to be exploring a brand new area, the Crimson Mirelands. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, consider subscribing. It really goes a long way. Shout out to everybody who is a subscriber towards the channel. But before we get started here, you know that we're going to need some Pokeballs. Actually, I have 53. I don't even need Pokeballs. I don't even need Pokeballs. Do we want potions? Do we want any feather balls? Do we need anything? Uh, I said we get a few potions up in here. We could craft a few of these. I'm going to craft about seven of them or eight. Eight's fine. And then go into... Hmm. We have six revives. I feel like we should be thriving here. We got two Pokemon on the squad that we are actually using. We have the Koalva and we have the Scyther, as you guys can see down in my team preview. And we are sitting at our second star rank. But yeah, brand new area. We have to head to the uh, Salacian Ruins over there. But there is, like I said, brand new area. So a bunch of new Pokemon are going to be here. And speaking of new Pokemon, we have the one and only Badoo. Let's see if I can just throw a Pokeball at him and catch him real quick. Yo, all set. Bilp, hit him up. And we got a nice little item right here, which is part of a nice little side quest. So let's see if we catch Badoo. And there it is, yo. Badoo in our pokedex let's get it but i believe there is a new pokemon in this area that i actually want on my team so we're gonna be trying to head there and actually trying to find it as well i'll show you guys the map and where i want to head is actually a long way from here i think it's like down here but we're definitely gonna try it we're definitely gonna try it because you know we got weirdier now we got weirdier we obtained them in the last episode and it just makes everything 10 times easier to obtain so there is a parasect over here which i either want to ko or catch right now and i think i'm gonna go for the catch first i'm definitely going for the catch first Heck yeah, yo. We, we want them all in our Pokedex. Hello, Parasect. We actually did see a Parasect in the last episode, and it was a Alpha Pokemon. So let's sneak up on this boy, and... Oh, yeah. See if we can catch him here. If not, we're just going to fight him with our Koala, but get some XP and kind of roll out that way. What you want, fool? He falls out. Come here. Let's go, yo. Let's battle. I'll KO him all day. Just get him in my Pokedex. Let my Pokemon know. And this thing's level 24. God dang, we got some high-level Pokemon we're going up against. Flame Wheel poking out here. Getting off some huge damage, and this thing's going to chip away with me for, with a Slash. That's some big damage. So good thing we have some potions. Good thing we have all this other stuff. And I'm taking you out all day. I'm not risking my koala for dying. We need some XP up in here. So I'm going to be taking it by collecting Pokemon and all that good stuff. But there we go. Koala does get a level up here. And I kind of want to potion him up. So I might as well. Nope. I don't want to go to the Pokedex. And good thing we actually crafted a few potions. Like I said, we got to head to this certain spot on the map to get my new Pokemon. And I would love to get my new guy. I would absolutely love it. There's a shiny rock over there. And I have to make my way across this bridge. So, yeah, is there a bridge over here? We got some Psyducks. I actually need these for a mission right here, so I'm going to collect these. And we're just going to get moving. Like I said, any new Pokemon that we see, we definitely want to catch towards the squad and put them on here. But any Pokemon that I already have... Oh, yeah, there's Carnivines. There's Carnivines. Definitely want to catch him. I don't think he sees me, though. Carnivine definitely doesn't see me. But any new Pokemon, I definitely want to add to my Pokedex. Because that was, like, one of my tips for starting off this playthrough. So, anytime you see a new Pokemon, you definitely want to catch him and add to the squad. Hit this thing with a back strike. That thing has a higher chance of catching. And let's see if we'll actually catch it. If not, I'll kill it with Koala. Let's go. Carnivine with the catch. We get all the XP, which is lovely. Let's get moving on with Weird Ear. I'll hop off and get some good materials and stuff just like this. And get rolling out from here. That's what I like to do. I kind of just like to catch Pokemon and kind of move on from there. Catch Pokemon, get materials, all that good stuff. Look at that, yo. Just so quick with Weird Ear, yo. I'm absolutely loving this game. Seriously, if you guys... Oh my god, there's an Alpha... Tank over here, and I'm not messing with that yet. I think whip on me. I do want this material right in front of him, though. Ooh, another level up for Koala. Yes, sir. Let's keep rolling here. There's Carnivines. Any new Pokemon here? There's a oh, there's a tank over here, which I really, really want on the squad. And that alpha Pokemon's coming after me, so I'm just gonna dip to the side here and try to get after this guy. Where's that tangle at? Where'd that tangle go? There he is. And of course, this thing sees me, right? I'll actually battle this thing. I'll battle this thing. We need the XP. Let's get ripping up with it. Because if you run from Pokemon, they still see you. So you might as well battle them and fight them. Hopefully, we can take them out in one shot. We are two more levels ahead of it with a nice, lovely flame wheel. And we do not. We bring this thing down the red. And he goes for an ass spray. Chill on me, man. Chill on me. I'll fight him again. Drop a nice little ember. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, Carnivine. But yo, this is a great spot to actually level up my Koala here. I really do like it. I really do like it. But there is Tangle here. I'm going to try to sneak up behind it. Can I give it a food? See if it likes orange berries or something. See if he'll eat that. Let's eat a berry. I would love to get a, like a back strike or something with it. He's eating right now. I'll just hit him with that pokeball from there and see if we can get a catch. Well, you'll catch that thing. If not, he's dead. Awesome. We catch it. Dope. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see where I'm at on the map because, like I said, I want to head to a certain area, which is like all the way down here. So let's roll. Let's roll out. Bring out my weird ear. Actually, drop weird ear. Get this, and now bring out weird ear. <laughs> Because, you know, your boy has to get all the materials. Oh, I just went... Did, did I really just do that? 
I think I'm dead. Yeah, I, I, well, I'm not dead. I'm just going to respawn. But really, I tried hitting the map or the bridge, and I just fell off the map, which is pretty fine because I see Yan Mega over here, and I would really, really want that towards my Pokedex. See if we can catch this thing. All right, let's switch to our Pokeballs, and I would love to snipe this thing. Please do not spot me. There we go. Close enough. Nice shot. Can we catch it? Please add to my Pokedex. Be in my Pokedex. Thank you, kind sir. Okay, cool. He's in our Pokedex. Let's check out this map, and... I think I have to head across this bridge. Actually, I can just keep heading. Yeah, let's head across the bridge. Take out my weird ear. We're going across the bridge. We're finding some new Pokemon. Because once I find this Pokemon, I really want them for my squad. Then we can kind of fast travel and just get going with the main missions. But, yo, I love exploring these areas. I love exploring these areas, finding brand new Pokemon. Any newbies over here? We already have Psyduck. We called a Psyduck before. Um, we have this tree right here. And, yo, is that a Krogunk in there? Oh, I threw a, Dang, I threw a Pokeball. But, yeah, there's a Krogunk chilling in this water right here. How you doing, yo? Look at how they walk. They walk with such swagger, dude. They walk with such swagger. Arms tilted back, pants sagging. <laughs> These dudes do not care. We can actually hit this dude from the back here. Bill, give me that. Add him to my Pokedex. Dude, this game is phenomenal, yo. This game is so good. Crow Gunk, add him up there. We get this. There's another Badoo, which I actually want to kill just to kind of like add towards my Pokedex. And what is that over there? A Roselia. There's a lovely Roselia, and I actually want to catch a Roselia. So I'm just going to fight this thing, and hopefully I can take it out one shot. I don't even have to deal with it. And then go for the Roselia catch. Bang, big damage. Badoo, get out my face. We're adding that towards our Pokedex and our collection. But where's that Roselia at? Okay, Roselia is over here. I'm going to start sneaking up on it, and I'm going to bring out Pokeballs. Ooh, let's actually let's actually give this thing an orange berry. Let's see if this thing will eat up. Cross that to the side. And it walk towards it. God, yeah, walk towards it, Roselia. And while it's eating, we're going to hit it with a back strike. There'll be a high chance of us actually uh, catching it. And there we go. That should actually be able to catch it, no problem, right? Give me that Roselia. Yes, sir. Roselia. Level 22. That's solid levels there. We'll throw a Scythe out here. And there's a Babiro right there, which I really do not care for. I'm just going to keep making my way towards the area or the destination that I want to make it to. We're kind of getting making our way there. I think I just need to like go this way. Yeah, we just have to go this way. Another Roselia. I actually want to fight it. It's going to give good XP and we can take it out, no problem. So I'm with taking out Roselias all day. It's good, Roselia. Go here and we'll go with a nice, lovely flame wheel. I think I have to do something for a quest. It was either like catch Roselias or like finish it up in the Pokedex. So for a side quest, I, I would love to do this. Right, so let's head this way. I think I can just keep heading along this rock. Or do I need like something to break this rock? Make my way through. Do I need like Rock Smash or something? That does look like I need Rock Smash. Let me look at the map real quick. Is there any other way I can make my way around here? Or am I just wasting my time? So what I really want to do is get towards like right here. There's a new request right there. And I don't know if there's like a bridge or something. Can I like zoom in here? I can zoom in. Looks like there's a bridge there. There looks like there's no way here besides like maybe rock smashing. Hmm. I do not have like a rock smash move. Is there a way to get across here? Let's see over here. It looks like there's no bridge or anything. So I don't think there's a way to get across. Which kind of stinks. Which kind of stinks because I really want to get my new Pokemon. What is that over there? That's a gold duck on the other side. I guess I guess you can't get this area yet. But we'll definitely uh we'll definitely look around and try to make it here. We have to go all the way around. We'll see. We shall see. Because I want my new Pokemon on my squad. I would absolutely love to do that. And then head to the Slacing Ruins and get going with the main quest. We're going to go here. And then we're just going to... I see a, this little pathway. Oh, I can actually probably get up on these rocks here. So this here, there's another Roselia there. But I'll, I'll deal with that later. Can I get up there? Can you make your way up here? Come on, Weirdear. Come on, Weirdear. Why can't you make it up this dang rock? Can you make it up this rock? Dude, this thing cannot make it up nothing. <laughs> if I hop off and do like a walking thing. Just, I think they just made it so we can't get up there. I'm gonna loop around this way. Get it weird here. Can I go up this side? Cannot. Cannot. There is an iron chunk here. And I am gonna fight you, Roselia, because I know I can whoop on you guys in one shot. So I'll take all the XP I can get. Because you know, we are a little bit... Uh, we're like mid-level here. So by KOing all these little Pokemon right here, this is gonna be great for our XP level. And I just hit myself with my own flame wheel. God dang it. Bye bye, Roselia. Take you out all day, and I'll take this iron chunk. But how do I make my way around this way? Maybe go up here and make a hard left after I get this, because you guys know I'm all about those materials. I'm all about the materials. Get this. There's Badoofs here. How you doing, Badoofs? And I'm going to throw this right here, and I'm just going to make my way this way. This seems like the right way. And I oh, yo, a Pachirisu fell out the tree. I definitely want to catch this thing. I definitely want to catch this thing. So I'm going to hit it with a nice little aerial ace. See how much damage we're going to do to it. I knew it was going to be not very effective, but I just want to see how much damage it was going to do. Drop some baby doll eyes, and I think I'm just going to throw a Pokeball at it. 
My offensive stats were lowered. And he drops Thundershot. God dang, yo, Scyther, you're okay. You're catching it right here. We're catching this Pachirisu, adding it to our squad right here. Pokeball, no problem. No problem. But yo, I want my new Pokemon. Maybe we have to do the Ruin thing first and then unlock something? We'll see. But there we go. We're going to catch him. And I'm just going to see if I can make my way over there. And then if not, you know, we're definitely going to go towards uh, the main mission. We can head back here. And it looks like there's nothing here unless I can make my way up here. I can. I can. I can make my way all the way up here. Let's go. Get it, Weird Ear. Weird Ear's playing no games. Come on, Weird Ear. You got that. All day. <laughs> there's Carnivines up here. Cricket Tots. And we're just going to keep looping our way around here. That's a few materials here. I do not want to fight you. I do not want to fight you, kind Cricket Tot. I just want to get after and get my, my stuff and things. Go bring out this. And yo, is that combis? <gasps> Teddy Urshan. That's got to be an alpha Pokemon right there. I'll catch the baby one. But yo, if that's an alpha Pokemon, we are not messing with it. We are not messing with it. Yeah, that's an alpha Pokemon. Ain't no shot we're messing with that. I'll catch you, though. I'll catch you all day. That thing's scaring me. We go for this one, too? That one already got it caught. I'm not messing with him. I do want the combi, though. I do want this combi. Can I smoke this combi right in, right, in the, right in the honey hive? There we go. There's a nice shot for him. Give me that catch, and then I'll kill this one. That Ursaring scared me. There's a nice catch. Let's, let's fight this one. Let's start adding it to my Pokedex. But yo, Ursaring over there? Thing is nutty. Thing is nutty. This thing's keeping his guard up. I'm just going to drop a flame wheel. And yo, this is a great spot. Like I said in the beginning, a really, really good spot to actually level up Kawava or if you pick Cyndaquil. Or if you have Typhlosion. Just a bunch of good grass Pokemon or bug Pokemon that you can rip up. One Pokemon you don't want to mess with is that thing. I ain't messing with that thing. That thing's got to be like level 30. But we're going to hop on a weird ear and we're going to get going here. We're going to get going here. Let me check the map. And where am I at? I'm trying to make my way like over towards this area, but... We could check out this one and then just fast travel back. Like I said, we're catching a bunch of new Pokemon, so I'm cool with this. We got Cricketune over there. What else? Anything Anything else over here? Bunch of Cricketunes. Bunch of Cricketunes. We do not want Cricketunes. Oh, yo, but I need this rock. I need this rock for sure. Well, I'll get up there. Get up there and do work. There you go. We get that Sky Tumblestone, and we'll get moving. On. Yes, sir. A space-time distortion seems to be forming. Where the heck is this space-time distortion? I think we learned about that. Yo, there's an Alpha Pachirisu down here. God dang, Alpha Pachirisu, and I just took fall damage. And a bunch of Pachirisu spawned down here. That's pretty cool. I'm, with it. I'm not trying to take damage from them, but B-rolls. Got these orange berries. I'll definitely take them up on that. And then we'll get rolling. I'm not dealing with the Pachirisu. So we'll make our way down here. We'll keep moving along here, and then we will uh, go take out that Roselia. We got this right here. Take that material. And hopefully we can make our way towards the area where my new Pokemon spawns. Or the Pokemon I want to spawn. Oh, there's a Wisp in here. I need to collect these wisps. And there's a space-time distortion over there. Yeah, see, can I touch this thing? We touch this. We got to collect wisps. Yeah, I don't know if we did it in the last episode. Yeah, we uh, we got our first wisp. The wisps will just be all around the map. So whenever I see them, I'm definitely going to collect them. So from here, oh, here's a satchel that someone was uh, looking for. And I guess we can't do anything over here. What is this? Plant? Can you grab? King's leaf. And I kind of want that king's leaf. We don't have any space in our satchel. Is that a barber roach? The barber roach. Oh, I'm fighting this thing in water. What am I doing? Oh, we get a little, we get a little stand thing to fight them on. That's pretty cool. I'll drop a rollout. See how much damage we can do up against this thing. Not very effective, but we're fixated on a rollout. Now. And what's this thing gonna use? Mud slap. Ooh. Hey! All right, we're going for the catch. He became obscured. This thing became obscured. We're going for the catch here. I gotta catch this thing right now. If not, my koala is dead. But yo, I just saw the barber roach chilling there. I was like, yo, let's catch it. Catch it right here. Yes, sir. Big old catch. Loving it. That's it. You call it Barber Roach. Come back here, uh, Koala. And we might just have to uh, fast travel back. I think we might. I think we might. More Barber Roaches here. Anything else we can do? Hmm. Let me see. We got this. Which is a Viva Choke. And we got Shiny Stone over there. But it's all good. We are just going to fast travel. We're going to get going with the main mission because we'll probably unlock more stuff as we... Uh, as we do the main mission. So maybe we'll unlock the new area. And maybe we'll just catch our other Pokemon from there. But let's rest up. And let's just get going straight to the Celestian Ruins. But I wonder if I can put items away. Is there like a chest that I can just like store items in? Because I would love to do that. Let me talk to this guy. This guy usually has everything. Um, Let's see. I'd like to do some shopping. You can shop. But here's a chest right here. Can I put stuff away here? Can I put stuff away? I can. It's my item box. Okay. So what do we want to put away? I'll put away Grit Gravel. We'll put away stuff that we... uh. That we don't really have a lot of. Hmm. Or maybe that we do have a lot of and we just kind of just want to put away. We'll put away these springy mushrooms. And we want to move them all. Move all at once. Move all of our stardust. What else do we want to move? We'll move these leaves. 
And this is good that we have all this stuff. We just move a ton of it. And uh, we could move our berries. Like moving this grit dust. I feel like we don't really use it. And one more. I'm going to get rid of one more thing. Super potions? Maybe? No. I guess we'll keep super potions out here. Heavy balls? We're not really using heavy balls, so I'll move them all. All right, we'll move heavy balls in there. We have extra space now, and we get rocking out here. And yo, we got ghastlies here. Ghastly spawn at night. That's great to know. That's great to know. Let's see if I can actually catch one. Come here, ghastly. I know, I know you're not going to see me. He saw me. Son of a biscuit. Come on, I want a ghastly. I'll loop around on this side to get a ghastly. We got ducks over here. Actually, need one more of these wheats. And we should find another ghastly soon, so I'm really not going to be worried about just kind of just going after these ghastlies and catching them. So we'll go this way. Actually, I'll try to catch this one if I can. I think he's going to see me. Dude, if this one sees me, I'm going to be a little annoyed. Can I step him from deep? Kobe. Oh, yo, what you mean, dude? This dude's dipping. Psyduck's right behind me. I see you, Psyduck. What are you doing, Psyduck? Chill on me. Yo, what are you doing? <laughs> the Psyduck's like all up on me. Catch that ghastly. Of course, we didn't catch the ghastly. Let's get moving on here. And we'll go to the ruins and get started with our main mission. Lovely. So we spent time exploring, which was really, really nice. I enjoyed it. And we'll definitely explore a little bit more as after we do this main mission. So let's run right up in here with our weird ear and get rolling. And I have something right here. Oh, my Wi-Fi. Why is there like a Wi-Fi thing? Lost and found. Check on your items that other people have lost. So I get this. If it lost her satchel. How do I give this back to her? Oh, it's back in town, I guess. Oh, she's going to give me stuff. Oh, it contains full heals. Should I just take the full heals <laughs> like out of it? <laughs> but there we go. 15 minutes of grinding. Get some levels up. Actually, we put our Koala up. Five levels, which is absolutely amazing. Destroying all this grass types, catching a bunch of second stage Pokemon, and getting a bunch of XP. So I'm loving it. I'm loving it. But I wonder what like the main mission is here. We definitely gotta probably beat another noble Pokemon here. So we'll see how this one plays. We shall see how this one plays. But we're talking to Collab over here. And I believe we have a battle here too. I believe someone shows up for a battle, if I do remember correctly. Like I said, I'm doing two playthroughs on this game, one on my YouTube channel and one on my uh Twitch stream, which I'm doing over on twitch if you guys want to catch me over there got a link down in the description below and name is right on the face cam we're streaming five plus days every single week jeans 25 over on twitch definitely go over there hit that follow button turn on those notifications so you know when i go live but this guy walks in here and i believe we have a battle yeah he has two pokemon to battle and he's gonna send out send out someone that my koala can just absolutely smack out. it's gonna be togepi i ain't mad about togepi not mad whatsoever we're gonna throw out this lovely koala and we gonna get after it, baby we gonna get after it. Togepi's chilling there. Let's fight it up. I guess we'll just drop a flame wheel. I wish I had strong style for this thing. Flame wheel's gonna poke. Wheel. Putting way over half on that thing. That thing's gonna tackle me. Look how much damage it does. The damage and like the fighting style is so different. It's so weird. This game. Like sometimes I do a lot of damage to certain Pokemon. Sometimes I don't do like any. Well, you don't get XP until you fully complete the battle. He's gonna send out Gibble here. And Gibble's kinda scaring me. I ain't gonna lie. Gibble's gonna bulldoze. That gun's KO me, right? God dang it. See, like, I don't even get a chance to swap. I don't even get the chance to swap, which is whack. Not not even a single chance to swap. Looks like Scythe is going to get a bunch of XP here. Scythe is going to roll in here. 127 HP. I love it. And we're just going to drop this. Uh, we're going to go for a double hit here. Double hit, baby. And we're going to boost our offensive stats, I think it does. We, we adopted a hard-hitting stance, which is really good. Swiss is going to come in here, do some big damage. And now we're going to switch. And I could go uh, Agile style, which is exactly what I'm going to do here. And then switch to strong style and hit it hard. The silver one's going to poke here. Chipping up some damage. Or I can just go for another one. But I'd rather just go for strong style. Finish this thing off. That is something I really, really like to do in this game. Is when I can look at the turns. And I can go into agile style and get back-to-back -back turns. I'll take a free turn. But using my agile style. And then I'll switch back to strong style. And get off a hard last hitting move. Really, really good. But yo, Scyther? I'm liking Scyther. Cannot wait to get the item to actually evolve Cleaver. I do not know how long it takes to actually get it. Excuse me, guys. But... We get some nice XP. We get 390. Lovely. And he should heal up my Pokemon, right? Thank you. Thank you. I need you to heal up my Koala. <laughs> Koala is just awesome. <laughs> it's great. But someone stole the wall fragment, this guy just said. And I believe, yeah, it was this thing just chilling out the wall. So I guess that's the mission for this thing. Find that wall fragment, which is exactly what we're going to do. But I just love exploring the areas. Like every time we get a new area, it's just going to feel like basically a brand new game, dude. It's a whole new area and the areas are enormous. There's so much to explore. Bunch of new items to find. Bunch of new Pokemon to capture. And like completing the Pokedex takes a while. And it's a lot of exploration. But we have to track down the Shady Bandits to recreate, to reclaim the wall fragments. So where are these dudes at? Um, Is this where they're at? That's space time glowing. Uh, Where are the Bandits at? Oh, it's over here. Okay. That's fine. So, where's my little marker at? I'm gonna poke out when I get out here. There it is. Okay, so over there, we're just gonna make our way towards here. And we gotta remember to actually catch a nice, lovely little ghastly. 
because when night ends, I don't think we catch ghastlies anymore. There's one right here. Can I catch him? Don't look at me. Do not look at me. I'll toss you berry, though. You want a hoppo berry? I don't know if you like these, but there's a hoppo berry. That's an awful throw. Someone near him. Come on, eat the berry. Son of a biscuit. Alright, you know, we'll catch this old-fashioned way. Run it up. I need a Ghastly, dude. Ghastly's just too cool. Gengar is such a cool Pokemon. We definitely want one on our squad. And I'm just gonna go for an Ember here. Hopefully this doesn't kill it. Hopefully it doesn't kill it. Do about half. Lovely. And this thing's gonna point watch. It's gonna poison me. Look how much damage it's probably gonna do. Oh, it just straight up poison me. See, like, moves work totally different in this game. I think poison... No, poison gas in regular Pokemon will just straight up poison you. But I remember the Cleaver using Stealth Rocks. And it just did straight up damage. So, we're still learning all the moves and stuff. We throw us at Ghastly, we catch him, and Poison goes away instantly, which I absolutely love. So, status conditions are working a little different than this. So, we'll catch that thing, we'll add to our Pokedex, and we will get moving on with the main mission. Onward! Onward, jeans, onward. I see a shiny stone over here, and I cannot pass up a shiny stone, right? Can I make my way across here? Well, oh, I can use my good old Heel Toe Express, walk across this bridge, do a little roll, semi koala over here. Should be able to reach that, right? Lovely, get that, and I think we're chilling here. Yeah, we get our Stardust and our Tumble Stone. So Tumble Stone's really good for, uh, for allowing Pokemon to actually, uh, allowing or being able to craft Pokeballs. And of course, this thing saw me. I really want to try to catch it. I'm not sure if we caught one yet. But there's a bunch of Parasects here, which is good. Uh, I could fight it, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll out here. Uh, I, I probably should have used, like, a strong style move there. Yeah, Ember probably could have taken that thing out. He's going to drop a Venishock. Look how much damage that does. For no reason. Go for the quick attack. We'll say, see you later, dude. Parasite. I probably could have went into Agile style there and played that one a little bit smarter. But I'm kind of just rushing around, beating up on these Pokemon. There we go. Level up for my Pokemon. I could have evolved the other Pokemon on my thing, but I really don't feel like it. Let's throw a berry for this guy. Yo, I know you want a berry, dude. Eat up, dude. Eat up, dog. Right behind you. Eat up. Yeah, yeah. Now you see that. Put it in your hands or something. Yeah, munch up. Back shot. That's easy catch. Easy catch. When they're eating, they're more vulnerable to catch. And then add that with a back shot. Of course, this thing escapes. But <laughs> add that with a back shot, you have a high chance of catching Pokemon. But if you give Pokemon, like, their favorite food and hit them with a back shot, it's almost like a guaranteed catch every single time. Which I absolutely love. But I see another Wisp over here. And, yo, are you attacking me? Jesus, man. Run it. Run it up, yo. We'll take the XP all day. I'm trying to get away, yo. And I just look behind me. And I got this thing trying to rip up on me. Go to Agile style. But Agile style... Really do much for me. I'll just go for the flame wheel. Oh, I could go for strong style. No, because then Parasite gets two turns. We're going for the flame wheel. Flame wheel coming out here. Big old damage. And we get a burn. Lovely. Do not kill me, man. Stun spore. Okay, that's a lovely turn. You can have me with a stun spore. You can paralyze me. Fine by me. Burn. Take it out, please. Dang it. We'll go for the quick attack. We'll say, yo, see you later, Parasite. Out my face. You gone. You got some parasitic chops, and I think this thing is going to give out a good amount of XP. Gives us a ball of mud. Yeah, it's 783. We're getting some mean levels here, but we make our way towards our destination. Our nice, lovely main mission destination. It's just a campfire. What are we going to get here? But I feel like a big Pokemon's going to pop out. It's a burnout campfire. Someone must have been here. Okay, so we're tracking down people, so I guess this is like a sign to where those people went. Now, who might you be? Oh, we got a new guy. New character. Who we got? Oh, three new characters. <laughs> three of them. And they seem like they want to battle us. I swear to God. If we have to battle all three at once, I'm going to cry. Let's see what happens. We got Clover. I forgot. I didn't see the first one's name. Coin and someone else. They're all sisters. Okay. And I'm guessing they took the, the thing. We are infamous. I, they, they definitely look like they want to battle. What's good to you? You want the smoke? She has a toxic crook, she just said. Not dealing with it. And yeah, we're battling. I think it's 1v1v1. One, one v one v one. We're just battling, battling, battling each time. <laughs> toxic crook is looking scary, man. Of course, like, my Pokemon aren't healed up. Who would have known I'm bursting, like, a Toxic Crow? This thing hits like a truck. So we can battle here. I think this thing's gonna go first. That's not cool. Can I switch to Quick Style? And maybe get two turns out here? Rollout's super effective. Might be. We're going for Flame Wave. I totally forget the typing. But Flame Wave's gonna chip up. Give me a burn. Yes! Big old burn on this thing. He's gonna go for a Venishock. That's gonna KO me, isn't it? Like, dude, let me heal my Pokemon. Now I gotta deal with this Toxic Croak by myself. Let's hurt my burn. I guess we'll bring out Scyther. We do have Aerial Ace, which is super effective. This is lovely. Lovely. So Aerial, Aerial Ace should be able to take this thing out. And at least my boy's gonna get some XP here. Yo, you get him out of here. Yo, Toxic Croak, get out of my face. This chick better heal up my Pokemon before I verse the next one. Unless it's just her. I would kind of hope it's just her.
Because the battling in this game, it's, it's nothing special. It just feels like you're just battling like normally just with cooler design stuff. But really where this game thrives is just like letting you just explore and do your exploration all on your own. But I think that's it. Oh, we got the wall. <laughs> we got the wall fragment just like that. All right, that was pretty easy. Which is like here, beat my Tox Croak and you can have this wall fragment. Now heal up my Pokemon. I ain't going to tell you again. I'm not telling you again and get out of my face. So we can hand in this wall fragment. Just keep moving on with the main mission. I hope we can actually unlock that area that I want to get to. My boy is over there who I want to catch. So my Qualva is dead. So that's a little rough news. So from here, I am going to go. Nope, not here. I'm going to go to my satchel. And luckily, I have revives in my satchel. In my everyday items. Revive you, the main man. The main man pots and pans. We'll go here, and then we'll hit B, and I should have a few potions. A few lovely potions to heal up the squad. All right, there we go. Anything over here that I have to get? I see a couple stones, which I would love to see. And then make my way back. I guess we gotta go put the wall fragment in. If I had to guess, right? How do I get across this river? I guess I can't do that yet without Basque Legion. Basque Legion is the the water Pokemon that you can ride on. It's a brand new fish. He's super, super cool. Super, super cool. And I definitely, I think I'm thinking I want him for my team. He's just so cool. We got some ducks over here. Is that a wisp? Oh no, it was a little bug wart. Oh, we can pick. Why do I hop off uh, my deer to pick up stuff? I always do that. I should stop. I can just pick it up straight up. But let's see if I can actually make it across this bridge with the deer. Uh, <laughs> and I keep forgetting we have we have speed up run. If I hold down B. This thing cooks. Look at him move. This thing moves. <laughs> there we go. Make your way back to this chick or this guy over here, Bolo. And we have a wall fragment. So I guess we're going to put it in the wall. And I have a feeling, like, I don't know why. Once we put this thing in the wall, it's just going to open up. Just like any other ancient ruin. <laughs> like, you know? I love how we can bring him out here. Let's like cook up a couple steps. Here's our chick. Yo, let me throw it up here. But Biro, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> how you doing, buddy? But I love when you're just like uh, wandering around in the open and you just uh, see alpha Pokemon. I think you have to be like a certain star rank to actually catch alpha Pokemon and take them on because they are really, really strong. At least a few of them that I know. I know they get up to like high 80s, I think, levels. I heard, I heard level 85. Heard level 85, which is super high. That is super, super high. But this thing reads in unknown language. You guys do not know what the unknowns are. There are other little Pokemans. Unknowns are cool. They are cool. I, I kind of hope they're in this game. So let's see what she does. She's talking about Ursa Luna or Ursa Ling. Ursa Luna, which is the, what's it called? I think it's a, a form. Head to Sludge Mountain and find Ursa Luna. Okay, so that's what we got to do. I think that's our, is that our noble battle? Where's Sludge Mountain at? God dang, yo, Sludge Mountain's all the way across, so we're going to get after it. Let's go. I think we already did a bunch of exploring, so we can kind of just like move through this area and kind of and just free free willingly go. I really dig. I really dig. Let's get moving here. Running through the trees. Hello, Cricketot. How you doing, dog? How you doing, Cricketot? Let's get moving here. Uh, what do we got up here? Anything that I need? There's this guy. I'm kind of curious what level he is, so you know what? Screw it. It's good, dog. What level are you? 45? Don't hit me first. He puts me to sleep, and it misses. So I could hit it with a move if I want to. Can I get two turns on it? Just see how much damage I can do? I can. Might as well, right? Let's see how much damage we can do. Depending on how much damage we can do, I might run. We're running. <laughs> this going to slap up on me. I'm out of here. Come on, Kawaba. We're out of here. You already chipped up some damage on him. We're out of here. Times you've seen... Oh, I, I just leveled up my Kawaba. Or my Pokedex entry for Koala. But, yo, know, dude, that thing was... Just, I just did, like, a little chunk of damage. Like, yeah, we're out of here. We run in this one. But this is a little new area over here. What do we got over here? Yon Megas. We already caught the Yon Megas. Krogunk swaggering around in here. Love it. Geodudes. I'm not really worried about Geodudes. Don't want them at all. And I'm just going to throw this guy over here. I'm just going to dodge this Geodude. I'm not dealing with you. Krogunks. I see you styling it. Gravlers, yo. Got some Gravlers. I definitely want to catch you. The Graveler can definitely do me dirty. God dang you. You see me? Please don't see me. Who sees me? Someone sees me. Whoever sees me, please don't hit me. Yo, Crabble, can you, like, knock knock it off? I'm gonna lead you. Oh, what a throw! What a throw! Let me catch that for that throw. Let's go! <laughs> what a throw, dude. That was a heck of a throw. What do we got here? Yo, is that a Hippopotas? My oh, dude, and someone's shooting. And there's a... Alpha Hippod Hippowdon over there. 
Bro, can he knock knock it off? Who's shooting at me? You. It was you. Or is it you? <laughs> That's it. Hey! He's gonna kill me. We gotta fight. We gotta fight. We gotta fight. Dude, are you kidding me? This thing's sniping me from across the map. Agile style does nothing to us. I'm just gonna go for a nice lovely rollout. Built. Nice lovely rollout. I knew it was not very effective, but I kind of just wanted to see how much damage it was gonna do. Because rollout's really good. Oh, come on, man. Oh my lord. Why does everything just dump on my dang... <sighs> just dumps on my dang koala, man. That's a one... I think that's the one problem I have with this game. Is the battle system kind of whack a little bit. I love it, but it's just like, dude, why is my why is my Kawaba die to a mud slap by a Krogon in one shot? And I have over 100 HP. It's just nuts. It's just nuts. But we're gonna go here. The Hippopotas already sees us. That's kind of annoying. Hopefully the uh, Hippowdon doesn't see us, because that could be ugly. That can get real ugly. But we'll go back here, heal up our Kawaba yet again, and we have a that or a hundred uh, tumble stone, which is really really good. I just want to catch you, Hippopotas. I'm gonna catch you, yo, hey, yo, chill on me. I'm not dealing with that. There's another Hippopotas over here. Dude, I'm gonna die. I'm like low HP. Like you can see around my screen. What is that? What is that? Yo, you see that thing following me? Bro, I'm out of here. I'll catch another Hippopotas. Get out of my face. Dude, that thing was shooting at me. Here you go. Let's catch this one. But yeah, you see like those markings on the outside. That means we're, we took damage. It's going away. There we go. We catch a Hippopotas. Awesome, yo. I was like, what is going on, dude? That Hippowdon shot like a mud shot over to me. It did some mean damage. It did some mean, mean damage on me. Or it was just following me. That's what it was doing. But we make our way to our area. There's a side quest here, which I should pick up. I'll pick it up. How you doing? How you doing, ma'am? Or is it man? This is man. How you doing, Malden? Hello there. You're from the Survey Corps. Yep, that's me, ma'am. How's it going? We got our Odo, Couture, you saw someone as capable as you. He's fresh construction cord, blah, blah, blah. Setting up. Oh, we can set up a camp. Set up a camp. Go help set up the camp. Okay, we'll do that in a little bit. And what is this? Oh, it's a chick with a babiru. Chick with a babiru. I feel like this is fighting round. Are we going to do another noble Pokemon battle right here? I'm so down for it. Oh, she got a flute. She got a flute. That's my weird air flute. That like calls Pokemon. Is it going to call the Ursa Luna? That'd be pretty sick. Round shaking, yo. I have a feeling we have a big battle coming up here. Oh my god. It's Ursaluna! Now share your medal to Ursaluna. But remember, oh, can this Pokemon break uh, rocks? Or am I fighting it? Oh god, here we go. Here we go. What level is this thing on? This thing is gonna work on me. 26, okay. Fight. Agile Sound does nothing. Oh, what is super effective up against this thing? I think it's fighting it normal. I'm just gonna go for a nice little flame wheel. Flame wheel. If it's fighting, yo, my Scepter can do some work on it. That was a crit. God dang. Baby doll eyes. Let's drop my attack. Uh, should we swap? I need to swap. This thing has bulldoze. Don't KO me. Dude! I can't do it. I cannot deal with this game, man. What is this? What is this? Okay, so it's not fighting. It is not fighting. Wow. Uh, who do we bring out here? Bring out Star Ravia. Get some damage off. Bro, my Kawava just gets teed off on in one shot. Every single battle. Every single battle. We're going to go for... Agile style will do nothing. Doesn't even matter what moves. I'm just going to switch to strong style. Try to get off as much damage as I possibly can. Strong style, baby. Air release. Nice. Chunking up some damage. Please don't take me out one hit. Slash. Okay, we eat. We can go for another strong style move. Might as well just keep going for strong style moves, you know? Might as well. Probably should start using Air Slash. I think it has a high chance of critting. Nice strong style move. I don't care if I start Ravy goes down here. That is going to drop my uh, offensive stats. Is there a special attack, right? And he goes twice. Of course he goes twice. Of course he goes twice, no problem. All right, Scyther. Need you here, big dog. But dude, Koala just gets teed off on. Any super effective move just doesn't work. I think Agile, we can, might be able to go twice. We can. I'm going to go Agile Silver win here. And then I'm just going to hit it with a strong style move. Which should be able to kill it, right? It's going to be kind of close here. Oh, strong style is not the way to go here. We'll just get a normal shot here. Normal shot, Silver win. 
strong style probably could have taken that thing out. We'll see. This thing's going for an agile style move. He's probably gonna go twice. Maybe the eyes comes out here. Not my attack, but I think we should be good here. Offensive stats for leverage. He's gonna go again and slash eats up. My dude Scyther. Yeah, dude. Scyther eats up all the way. Might as well go for a strong style. Let's dump on it. Finish this thing off, please. This thing's a big bear though. It's a big bear. We get rid of it. Awesome. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. And look at all the watch all the XP we're gonna get that my koala was not gonna get. 1036. God dang. God dang, the boys are buzzing. Heal up my Pokemon, please. Please, Kalaba. Kalaba, heal up the squad. I really need you here. So what's 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 Ursa Luna doing? Doing something. Doing something. It's so important that we can only use it on tough Brazilian Pokemon like Ursa Luna. He did something to the poison on that thing. Did some poison, but look at the rift in the background. There's the rift, and then we have that space time thing we can see right behind my character right now. Which I don't know what that is. I kind of want to head over to it. it. Looks pretty cool, but it definitely has something to do with the story, so we might have to do that today. Got my flute. Are oh, we befriending this? This thing better have that rock smash. Better have that rock smash ready to roll. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this rock smash person? Open its heart and learn the song you're playing. Yes, sir. We we received the earth plate. And I'm gu I'm guessing we can use him to break rocks, right? Finding things. Oh, he's good at finding things buried in the ground. He's good at breaking rocks. He looks hilarious. He looks so friendly, though. Looks like a sad bear that had a rough childhood. <laughs> to dig for treasure. Okay, so we can dig for treasure. That's pretty cool. Can he break those rocks? That's what I'm curious. Okay, so now all I have to do is report back to uh, the, the dude, right? Yeah, I have to report back to the dude in Jubilee City, but I really don't want to do that right now. Is my Koala dead? He is dead. Yo, you couldn't heal my Pokemon lady? Get out of my face. So what I want to do here is actually going to be uh, explore this region probably for the rest of this episode. And then head back to town later. We'll just do this, and then we'll pop another potion. Just keep collecting stuff. Might as well keep catching Pokemon, keep adding stuff to our Pokedex. I'm with it all day, but let's check out the map. I wonder if we could break that rock down. Because we're right here. I got to get to here. Home of the Trials. I don't I get to here. I don't know how to get to here. The only way that I saw it was like break that rock and travel alongside, you know? But this is exactly where I want to get to. Let's see if there's anything back here. And maybe I can head up this way. We got over here. There's a bunch of hippopotases. Hippopotases. Oh, this is where we came from. This is the way that we could go. And I don't know what that space time thing is. I can head up here and set up a base camp. Which I'm going to do. Yeah, we, we grab the side quest. Might as well do it. We got up here. Is this where we set up the base camp? Ah, uh, this guy needs help. This guy needs some help. What's goody, dog? What's goody? Is this guy who needs help? Yep, this is Odo. I guess we gotta just take out these donkeys or catch one. I would love to catch one. Let's see. Leave it to me. Yeah, leave it to me. I gotta fight him. Look at these bros. Dude, these dudes are just up to no good. <laughs> up to no good. Please don't tell me I have to fight three of them. Fight one of them, please. Let me beat up one and then scare the other ones off. The koala is going to come out here. Let's rip it. Oh, they're, they're triple teaming me. They're triple teaming me. They're triple teaming me. I can go into Pokemon here. I can switch out if I want to, right? I can go hit Pokemon. I can do all this. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm just going to stay in here. I'm just going to go for a flame wheel here. Dang, yo, look at the turn order. Look at the turn order. Turn order sucks. It's me and then Stunky, Stunky, Stunky. Can we KO one shot? We cannot. Venom shot coming here. Dude, what is going on here? We're getting ripped. We're poison. I don't mind a poison gas. Can you poison gas also on me? Keep my koala alive. Tackle. Eat this up. Cool. We're going to be able to go here. Uh, could switch to Agile, but it doesn't do anything. I'm going to switch to Strong Style here. Go for the KO here. My koala is going to die. He's going to die out here. Yo, I really want to do the side mission. We don't KO. What you mean? We don't KO. Stunky use poison gas. That's fine. Can you all use poison gas? I'm already poisoned. Everybody use poison gas. Use it. Yes. Next one use poison gas. Next one use poison gas. This Stunky's looking around. Okay, cool. This one goes again. Of course, oh, because we use strong style. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm gonna bring out. Uh, I'm gonna bring out Shinx here. I'll bring out Shinx. I'll do some damage with these guys. But I have to KO all three of these guys in order to uh, decide. I think this thing might run. We might have to run. 
dudes are just firing away. These dudes are just firing away. All right, I can go here. Can I go twice? I cannot. Let's go for the thunder shock here. Finish off this stunky. We'll bring out our uh, our scyther and we'll get rolling after that. I might just run this and come back to it in a little bit as my Pokemon get a higher level. Might be my play because my Pokemon are taking a beating. They really are taking a beating. A, a beating. A three v one is just not the way to go. It's really not the way to go. Can I run? I cannot run. Might just have to use this Bidoof to uh, vibe my Pokemon. Can I run this one? Let's see if I can run it. Stop, yo. Let me go. Let me make a move. I just got all these Pokemon just attacking me at once. I can run. Running's not an option. Well, then. Well, then. Looks like we got to revive our Koala. Looks like we got to revive the boy. Koala, Koala recovered. Bidoof's hurt by poisoning. And these guys are probably going to take me out. Venusha, eat up. All right, let's do it. Let's get it done. I could heal up with Starly, but I'm just going to throw in Scyther here. Get off some damage. Let's do, it. let's do it. So let's look at the attack order first before we make a move here. Things going to go first. Please don't KO me. Okay, so I can go here, fight. And I might be able to go into... No, that does nothing. Strong style does nothing either. I'm going to go for an aerial ace. Hopefully this next one goes for like poison gas or something. That's some big damage. Go for poison gas. Acid spray. We're dead. Okay. Uh. This is nutty. This is nutty. All right. We're getting after this. We're getting after this. We have Koala out here. Can my dude? I wish my agile style can make me go a bit faster here. He's gonna go first, isn't he? Venishok, eat this up. No way we black out here. No way we black out. I don't mind if we do. But I'm gonna heal up my. Uh, I really want to finish. Oh, we're dead, aren't we? Dude, these guys attack way too quick. Um, hmm. Let's, yo, dude, let's let's just heal, let's just revive my Scyther here. Scyther's our best bet here, because Scyth Scyther's really quick, and he's been hit like a truck, so I'm with reviving Scyther. Poison Gans can come out here. We dodge it. Good work, Charlie. We get another turn out. Then a shock. Can we eat that? We don't. All right. What's our play? What's our play? Scyther, you got to be up. Scyther needs to be up for us to do something. Okay, cool. He is up. So I could go... What's the agile style? Hmm. We're just gonna use this. Can we go next? Can we go next? So we take you out. Please do not take me out. Go for poison gas. Tackle. Eat this. We eat. Let's roll. Can agile style make me go twice? Not. Just gonna go for a quick attack. I should probably potion up. But I think we should be fine here. Go for poison gas. Eat this. Eat this. No! What happens here? We can't battle. Do we lose items and stuff? Try again with a stronger team. Can you heal me up? I'm all dead. Can I fast travel to here? God dang it, dude. I hate this game so much. We gotta, we gotta fly back to camp. I'm not done here. I'm not done here. I don't want to exit. I want to fly back to camp. All right, so I'm going to fly back to camp. We just lost all of our Pokemon. It's all good. I'm just going to heal them up here. And then I'm going to go back to the area and try to get to that area that I can catch that new Pokemon for the squad on. We'll definitely see. We'll definitely see. But I can. I just have to run with Weirdia, right? Let me look at the map. Try to get back to where I was at. It was across the bridge and around. We'll go across the bridge, and we're just going to head straight back to where we were at. Do not fall in the water. Thank you very much. We out of here. But, yo, look how quick you can move with the Weirdia. Dude cooks no problem whatsoever. No problem whatsoever. Just flying. That's what I love about Weirdier. Like once I got him, like it was just awesome. It was really, really good. Oh, I can hit a rock? God dang. Did not know that. God dang, Weirdier. But look at this. We're almost back to our spot. We just... That's kind of cool. Like, if you lose all your Pokemon, you just uh, go back to... Uh, you just... You just go... You're fine. Like, as long as your guy doesn't go down, you're chilling. We can head back to this area, and what I want to do is try to get across the river. Gotta be a way across the river, right? I guess I'll travel it around this way and see if there's a way down this way, and then if not, we'll follow it along the other side. We'll keep moving along this way. I don't think there's a way. Actually, there, it looks like you can go, go around that way, but it looks like it ends over there. It does look like it ends over there, so you know what? Let's just travel to the other side. Alright, my koala. Let me out of here. Alright, because I'm on that riverbank. Of course, a geo dude leaps out. I didn't even see the rock shaking. Look how far away I am. 
Okay. It, it just fades off regardless. Okay, so let's roll out this way. I think I'm in the right spot on the map, right? Yeah, I, can, I just have to follow this river. I have to get to this side. Let's just follow the river. There's got to be a way to get over this. Unless I need Basque Legion, right? Or can I, is there a way to, like, jump? Maybe I can swim over there? Basque Legion might be the way. I don't, I don't know if I can get across it without Basque Legion. Which is a little tough. Like I said, I would love to catch a new Pokemon for the squad. Let's move over here. There was that rock that I saw. And I'm wondering if Ursa Luna can actually break it. So rock is right here. Oh, geez. We're hopping. I almost made that jump. I almost made that jump. <laughs> I was looking to. I thought it was just like a, a divot. Not even like a divot. Just like a thing. But yeah, I can't see nothing. Okay, so we gotta make our way back. I can't see anything. We gotta make our way back around this bridge. Let's do it. And see if we can rock or break this thing with Rock Smash. If not, I would definitely like to explore the other area, but we have to finish up this main quest too soon. We're here. Run it. Rock should be up here, right? So here's the rock. I wonder. No, no, I, I did not mean that. I did not mean that. And you can't move. Oh, you can move for a tad bit. But I did not mean that. I keep falling out into the water. All right. How do I how do I switch to Oh this dude right here? Can I break this? How do I use this thing? Get over that. Get over that. Get over that. I wonder. I wonder. <gasps> oh we got over the rock! See I got a bear now. I ain't playing around. I ain't playing around. I think I got it on the other side. Let me see the map. No, it just hops us over here, so we can't get over here without, I think, Basque Legion, which is kind of tough. So we were already at this area. That's whack. I wonder I wonder if I can, like, you know... I wonder it, if we can, like, hop the river or something. I'm definitely going to give it a try. I'm definitely going to give it a try. I think this is the area, right? This looks like our best chance right here. Alright, weird here. This is your one and only chance. Get it! Come on! No shot, right? We can't even climb up this rock. All right, yeah, no shot. We can get over there. That's pretty much it. We cannot get our new Pokemon till we unlock Basque Legion and are able to surf across. But for now, can I just fast travel over to like Jubilee Life City? I cannot. I have to go to here and go over here first. So not a bad episode today. Continuing on with the main mission, we're just gonna go head back and actually hand in. Actually, let me hand in my dudes to. Uh, or my stuff, see if we can rank up with this guy. Because we got a lot of new Pokemon for the squad. Did a lot of exploration. Got done a good chunk of the main quest. Unknown shown here. Yo, what's goody? Can I catch him? I think sick. Look at that thing. Let me catch it. Let me catch that Pokemon. But I came here to uh, get my levels. I didn't really come here to, to have a chat with you. <laughs> I know what I had to do. But let's see what he has. Here you go. Unknown notes were added to the Pokedex. That's cool. So we add those to notes. And we'll get my XP. Me and my stuff, I think. Unknown research notes. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, y'all. Let me do this. There we go. 13 Pokemon. Look, are there 13 new Pokemon? That's cool. All well, for the first time. Yeah, 13. Big cash. We're definitely going to be upgrading our bag. Definitely going to be upgrading our bag very, very soon. Awesome. And all that stuff done. Dope. And there was a person over here with a Roselia, I think. Or had like a Roselia side quest. Where are you at? Is she over here? She's right here. Oh, no, I didn't even grab it. We'll grab it another time. We're just going to head back to the Commander-in-Chief. And we're going to go finish up uh, this main mission here. Let me escape. Yes. Return to Jubilee City. Yes, please. Yes, please. So not a bad episode. Like I said, we kind of explored the new area. Got to know a little bit more. I think in the next episode, we're going to have to head back there and do like a, a noble Pokemon battle. It's not bad whatsoever. Not bad whatsoever. I can't bring out my deer here, which I'm kind of upset at. We're going to go head up to the, uh, the Commander. What's his name? Kamado? I think that's his name, Kamado. Something along those lines. Something along those lines. What's up, Wurple? Dude, that Wurple scares me. I ain't gonna lie, dude. That Wurple's huge. That Wurple is enormous. He plays no games. <laughs> but we can go up here. And actually, let's upgrade the bag. So I don't forget later. 3,000. God dang. We'll upgrade it twice. I'll upgrade it twice. Get some cash on the side. Or is it gonna go up to 6,000? If it goes up to 6,000, I'll still upgrade it. There's no way it goes to more than 6,000. 4,000. Upgraded, we get two more bag space, and yo, it's getting to a hefty price. It's getting to be a lot. 
It is definitely getting to be a lot. But hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. I am making them a bit longer for you guys because, like I said, in the BDSP playthrough, you guys are just like, yo, jeans, we want longer episodes. So I'm making them a bit longer for you guys. So hopefully you guys are sticking around. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you guys made it this late. Give me a little bit of hashtag, uh, hashtag, um, I'm trying to think. Hmm. Hashtag late, late squad or late gang. Something like that. People for the people who stay later in the videos. But just let me know in the comments that you guys stay late. I would love to know who, who watches the videos all the way through. But we got up here, we talked to him. We got the little Pearl and uh, Diamond Clan just showing here. And just give me my next quest, man. That's all I ask for. That is all I ask for. Yeah, we're telling him, yo, we saw Ursa Luna. We actually befriended it, which is awesome. And now I can dig holes, but I can't break rocks. So I actually got over that rock, but it did nothing. We were already at that area. But yeah, my new Pokemon that I want on squad is over the river. So we might have to backtrack to get him eventually. But we have to ride on Ursa Luna. Uh, to follow the blue signals in the Crimson Mirelands. But guys, we're going to be doing that in the next episode. You guys already know that. You guys already know that. But let's actually head over here. And I could grab some side quests. I actually want to look at my side quests and head to the front entrance before we finish up this next or this uh, video. So missions and requests. We have a few. We have this one. Uh, setting up the camp. That was with the Stunkies. This was the Hardy Grains. Which is... Where's this one at? Oh, it's the guy right out front. We can actually go do that. We can actually go uh, give that to him. That's a guy right out in front of the village. So let's go head over there. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. So we can finish up a side quest. And I believe he's going to give us a few things. I don't know. I forget what it was. But I think it was something good. But if I remember correctly, he should be just like leaning up on this tree over here. That's my guy. Is he over here? There's no one over here. Maybe he only comes out in the daytime. I honestly totally forget where he's at. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. As the next episode, we're going to be finishing up that brand new area, the Crimson Mirelands, and hopefully unlocking a brand new area and catching even more Pokemon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.